Pow, welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Today, our Marvel Legends reviews for this new X-Men Warlock rave continue. And in front of me, as you can see, we have Shatterstar. Now, I think he first debuted in the New Mutants and then has been part of the X-Force and maybe the X-Factor and whatnot. We will get into that in a minute, but let's have a look at the figure. Looking really good in the box, to be fair. I do like his design, his comic character design. Uh, we get these two double-bladed swords as accessories, and then we get an arm for the Warlock Builder figure. As always, we get some decent side art on the side. On the back, we get a picture of the figure and then a write-up. And as always, a list of all the figures in this wave we need to complete the Warlock Builder figure. Today, we're reviewing Shatterstar. More side art, there he is. Okay, so let's open this guy up and see what he looks like out of box. Here's Shatterstar straight out of the box, and I must say I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't know a lot about this character, but I do like the design, and I do like the details that are on this figure as well. Uh, we do get a Warlock Builder figure piece. We just get an arm, and again, the details and paintwork on that are looking impressive as well. So uh, fair play to Hasbro. Uh, and then also we get these two... Well, we get two swords. I thought they were both double-bladed, but by the looks of it, just one's got a double blade and the other one's just a normal sword. And then you get these spikes as well. And then obviously, I assume he can hold both of these. So bear with me because again, I've not actually tried this yet, but I'm assuming he can. He doesn't have anywhere to store the swords on the figure. There's no like sheath or anything on the, on the back of the figure. But yeah, there he is holding the swords. And you know what? I do really like this figure. Like, uh, it's a very simple paintwork. Uh, it's a very flat grey. But I, I don't know. I just like how he looks. I like this is a very plasticky material. But I do like the the brown. It's not a flat brown. There is some paintwork on that. It does look like leather, I suppose. He's got this ponytail as well. The ponytail is quite hard. Um, it doesn't spin or anything like that. No articulation on the ponytail. Uh, but I do like. There's no details in the hair. But he's got like these pigtail type things. He's got like an one golden eye. But the head sculpt is quite impressive. I like the detail there. Uh, and yeah, just, I don't know. Just, again, wasn't expecting much from this figure. But now I've got him out of the box. He does look really good. I, you can't get the arms down any further than that. And that always annoys me when you can't get your figures in a vanilla pose. But I suppose if he's a buff character, then I suppose his arms are going to be sticking out a little bit. Um, but yeah. There he is, front and back. Do really like the figure. Um, but other than that, articulation is just the same as most standard uh, Marvel Legends figures. All the articulations in the same old places. We've got ankle pivot and all of that. Uh, his head does have some decent articulation, even though he's got the hair piece there. Um, but yeah, looking good. So let's uh, ask the question, who is he? And find out a little bit more about Shatter star. So this is the part of the video where we ask the question, who is he? And I try and give you a little bit of information on the character that this figure is inspired by. So, Shatterstar, who is he? Well, Shatterstar is basically a mutant warrior slash gladiator from a future planet called Mojo World. His first appearance was in New Mutants 99 back of March of 1991. Now, Shatterstar is actually the biological son of X-Men Dazzler and Longshot, but as a baby, Maybe he was sent into the future and has caused some paradoxes since then. Now when Shatterstar time travelled and was in the present and he met Cable and the New Mutants, he actually became one of the original founding members of the X-Force and since then he's been a main character of the X-Factor. So I hope that helped. Again, I do not claim to be an expert, but it is nice to have a little bit of information on the characters that these figures are inspired by. And as you can see, his Shatterstar compared to some of his X-Force members, Cable and Deadpool, not very comic accurate because they're all wearing different costumes. Uh, Shatterstar is wearing his uh, very first costume, but Cable is wearing his more updated modern one. I wish we did have the blue, uh, more classic Cable look. Uh, I do have this bootleg grey Deadpool that looks more like a alien, but uh, that's at least more comic accurate when it comes to X-Force. But yeah, Shatterstar does scale well with all of these figures, looking good. 
Then lastly, his shatter star compared to the only other figure I've already reviewed in this wave, Old Man Logan, aka Wolverine. And as you can see, he is a little bit shorter than our usual standard Marvel Legends figures. Scale him well. So there we have it. There's more reviews slash thoughts on this brand new Shatterstar figure from this brand new X-Men wave. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for reviews of the rest of the wave to come. Obviously, there's always a playlist on my channel, so just hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that little bell as well and you'll get told when my reviews hit. But yeah, really like this figure considering I wasn't expecting a lot. But until then, subscribe and I will see you on the next one.